Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create common DP in Photoshop. Before getting started, please do download the project file, link in the description. With the project file, it will be much easier for you to follow this tutorial. So download the project file, watch this video completely. If you find this video helpful, then subscribe to our channel. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called common DP. Open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file. Size is 1500 by 1500 pixels. TPI is 150. You can straight away start designing it. First we are going to select image layer and we are going to bring in our main stock image. For that go to the folder you downloaded, open the image one inside Photoshop. Drag and drop it inside our canvas. I'm going to place it on the right end. Then we're going to rename it as image one. Fine. Next, we're going to bring in our second image. Go to the folder you downloaded. Open image two inside Photoshop. Drag and drop it inside our canvas. Name the zone as image 2. Now we are going to place this layer right below the image 1. And I'm going to place the image on the left side. Somewhere, somewhere like this. Okay. Next we are going to bring in our background image. For that go to the folder you downloaded. Open image 3 inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside canvas. Fine. Next, we are going to change the color tone of the images so that it will merge with the background layer. For that, select image tool, create new adjustment layer, curve adjustment layer. Now we are going to clip mask it. For that, select the curve layer we created. Go to layer, create clip masking. By doing so, the adjustment we are going to make now will be reflected only on the image 2. Now click and go to blue curve. I am going to move the bottom curve somewhere here and the top one somewhere here. By doing so, you will get a yellow tone kind of effect which will make the image merge with the background layer. You can see. Okay, next we are going to add a little bit brightness to the image. For that, go to adjustment layer, create brightness and contrast layer. Again, we are going to clip mask this one. Go to layer, create clip masking. Now I am going to increase the brightness something around 15 or 19. I will keep it as 19. Okay. Now you can see previously it looked a little bit darker, now it looks a little bit brighter. Next we are going to add some effect to image 2. Go to adjustment layer, create curves. Again clip max this one. Now I am going to adjust the blue curve. Move the bottom curve a little bit up. I am going to adjust the top one, ok. Now this one merges with the background, ok. So now we are done with our image. Next we are going to create text. For that select text folder, create a new layer, go to color picker, select color 2A2313, brown color, next enable text tool. I'm going to use font Aerostyle LT Bold. It's a free font, you can download it. I'll give the link in the description. You can download it if you want it. Now I'm going to keep the font size as 108. And type the text. I'll paste the text somewhere on the left side here. Okay. 
next we are going to add some effects to our text for the select the text layer blending option select bevel and emboss i'll keep the blending mode as sorry select bevel emboss i'll keep the style as outer bevel technique smooth i'll keep the depth something around 948 i'll keep the size as 10 soften it a little bit too then in the gloss contour i'm going to select the second one bottom left second one which which is called ring then in the highlight mode i'll change it as linear dodge add i'll bring down the opacity down to 45 next shadow mode i'll keep it as multiply but i'm going to change the color as f7 e187 i'll increase the opacity to 85 now we'll see you've got a cool text effect so i'm going to create a duplicate copy of the text layer we created by using keyboard shortcut ctrl j if you want you can create it manually by dragging it down below i'll edit this one as helen i'll reduce the size as 51 then we're going to place it somewhere here so our text is ready next we're going to add flare image to our canvas for that go to the folder you downloaded open image 4 inside photoshop drag and drop the image inside of canvas i'm going to place this image inside background folder I'll change the image blending mode as screen. I'll place it right below the alphabet O. It gives some kind of burst out flare effect. Looks cool. Okay, next go to the effects folder. Select new layer. We're going to give some glow effect for that. Go to color picker. Select color F9. A B 1 E select brush I'll select soft brush increase the size now on the left end give a single click I'm sorry before that we need to change the layer blending mode as screen okay now give a single click I'm sorry the opacity is down below to 25 I'll keep it as 100 now give a single click and you'll see you'll get a glow effect i think this one is way too much i'll reduce the opacity to 80 okay so now we're going to add some few more effects to our image okay for that go to the image folder select image one right click blending option inner shadow i'll keep the blending mode as screen sorry i'll keep the blending mode as color dodge i'll go with the color pff da 3c okay I'll keep the opacity as 100. I'm not going to change the angle. I'll keep the distance as 3, show 5, size 29. So our effect is ready. I'll click OK. 
So we're going to apply same kind of effect to the second image. For that, go to image two, right click, blending option, inner shadow. I'll bring the opacity down to 80. I'll reduce the distance. I uh, know. Oh I'll keep the distance as three. Keep the choke as zero. I'll bring down the size as 25. And now I'm going to add shadow, drop shadow to this image. I'll keep the blending mode as normal. I'll select with. I'll go. I'll the, select the color as KFF. D 33C. I'll keep the opacity as 100. It's not going to make any difference. I'll reduce the size as 0. Spread 0 and size as 13. So it will add some minimal drop shade effect. I'll click OK. So we are almost done. So next we are going to merge all our layers. For that, go to layers, select merge visible, now hold alt key in your keyboard. All our layers are merged into a single one. I'll name this as base. I'll create a duplicate copy and I'll rename it as oil paint because we're going to apply oil paint effect to this one. Now go to filter, stylish, oil paint. Stylization, I'll keep it as 2.7. Sorry, 2.7. Cleanliness, 1.0. Scale, 5.1. I'll keep the bristle detail as 0, click OK. Now oil paint effect is added, but you will notice that our image look little bit blurry. So we need to restore it. For that we are going to apply layer mask effect. Now create a layer mask to the oil paint layer. Select black color, go to brush, select soft brush. Now I'm going to bring the opacity down to 25%. Now I'm going to restore those important parts like eyebrows, eye, lips and other parts. So that our image won't look blurry. Fine. Next, we're going to merge our layers. For that, go to layer, select merge visible, hold alt key in your keyboard. Next, we're going to add a smart sharpen effect to our image. I'll name this as sharp. Now go to filter. Sharpen. Smart sharpen. I'll keep the amount as 224, radius as 1.0, and reduce noise as 10. And I'll remove the lens blur effect. Okay, and I'll click OK. So now you'll see that our image looks a little bit sharper and good. So our File is almost ready. Now we are going to just add up some color effects for the create a new adjustment layer. Vibrance. I'll increase the vibrance to 19. Saturation as 1. And our common DP is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button for more Photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.